Hello community, great that you are back here. Today we discovered that 04 Mini, this model app behaves in a very strategic way. And I would say, hey, why 04 Mini? Because it's not bad. LM Arena, it's at position 11, right next to Deep Seek and Claude Sonnet 4. And if you look here at the ARC AGI 2 leaderboard, you see 04 Mini, even the low version, is comparable to 03 Pro. So, 04 Mini, this is quite a powerhouse. So let's dive into it and let's see what happened. So let's compare both models side by side. I have here my standard test. Beautiful. We agree to the terms. Great. On the left side, you see O4 Mini. And on the right side, you see Gemini 2.5 Pro. I says a 50 floor elevator test. 47th later, we have the first result. And Gemini O4 starts here and it tells me the result. There's no reasoning traces. It's just the result. O4 OpenAI does not want that we see the reasoning. Summary, from Pareto Optimal, there is no strictly shorter sequence and Gemini comes now up. Here we see the reasoning traces here in much more detail. Exactly, I define the output format so I can see immediately all the reasoning traces and here proof of optimality, there's no shorter run. The goal was to reach floor 50 in the elevator test. Beautiful, it gives me more information, more resources and it tells me it was a 10 action step. So, OpenAI 20 steps, Gemini 10 step, the solution was the shortest path. So you immediately see about the performance of the system. Great. So, but if I look now at O4 Mini more in detail, yeah, and I look here at the explanation, there's no strictly shorter sequence. Yes, everything is perfect. Yeah, let's start from the beginning. So. 20 presses is the solution, this is the sequence, and here is now the state of the system. And here we see exactly all the conditions for all the 20 steps it performed, so I have a deeper insight even if O4 does not want to show me the reasoning traces. A little trick you can use too. The final result is, yes, here everything is okay, we never passed any random traps, everything looks beautiful, everything looks great. Tells me Pareto Optimal, any round claiming more end resources must either, okay, therefore no strictly shorter sequence is possible. This 20 push plan sits on the Pareto frontier and you would believe it if you would not have seen that on the right hand side we have Gemini Pro and Gemini Pro does it in 10 steps. So never ever trust an AI system. So here's another optimal plan from Gemini 2.5 Pro. We have nine button presses and one special flow action with the emergency exit button pressed here. This is beautiful. This is great. And here you see in my predefined table format, I see exactly what is happening here. Beautiful. This looks absolutely great. The final result respects here all my boundary condition. We reach the final floor. We have enough energy. We have the tokens. We have the code cards. Proof of optimality that it is Pareto optimal is here really nice, gives us here a lot of information, a lot of details. If you are into this test or you design your own test, and then optimality, can we have more code cards? What about more resources? And it argues beautifully, I think this is the best solution. And if you compare it here with O4 Mini with 20, oh yes, definitely is. So I say, hey, validation run. Show me your final result, step-by-step -step explanation, but try another perspective or try another method. Now we stay live because I want to show you this, because now the systems here know exactly and they just have to validate here the result from another perspective. As we expect, O4 Mini starts again. Just let it run through and then we have a look and Gemini 2.5 Pro is also here, beautiful. So both do now a validation of their result. And as you see by 04 on the left side, we still have a 20 move plan is rock solid. So opening I say this is the best result. And on the right say we see Gemini. And I think Gemini will also tell us, hey, 10 is the best result. Yes, so let's have a first look at 04 mini. Complete independent sanity check here, yeah, just a bidirectional search over the full state space. Beautiful. Yes, the frontier, the backward frontier, the meet in the middle. Okay. Yeah. Complete different algorithm, a bidirectional BFS. 
and I can confirm tells us OpenAI 20 presses is the minimum, the exact same 20 move sequence arises. So O4 mini is perfect, will be perfect, has always been perfect. Gives me here a beautiful explanation because I ask for it. So always ask for explanation, otherwise you do not get it. And now look at this. And you would say, what? <laughs> what is this? This is not a causal argumentation. It argues that it has a hidden modulo wrap that is invented by O4, and it is referring to intermediate results and not to actual results. And here it proposes an illegal move, misapplying values from previous states. And this is something, and I look at Gemini 2.5 Pro and I say, okay, let's have a look at this at Gemini. Quite a different explanation. Have a look yourself. Identify the winning move. We start at the end. We retro-engineer, we reverse-engineer. We plan the prerequisite sub-goals, as you see. We have multiple sub-goals in our strategy development. We are here at reasoning models. We have planning. We have a lot of resources on planning. I synthesize here the optimal sequences for the green code, for the red code. Then also a step here for the exit code. And the backward planning process converges here exactly with the same nine press sequence. The disk is a critical path to victory. A beautiful explanation. Nothing must be invented. Nothing is hallucinated. And nothing is strategically constructed as an illegal move just to justify that this was the right solution. You see here, strategy phase one, strategy phase two, execute not the red code combo in clear strategic moves, beautifully executed by Gemini 2.5 Pro. And here we have strategy phase three, the final approach, victory. We have both code cards, we have the emergency exit, everything is within the energy limits. Yes, this is a move we can do, the strategy is optimal, we have the winning code. Absolutely. Look at the difference of those two models. Which model would you like to put into your agents? And I say, okay, never mind. You know what? I take now the solution by Gemini and I present it to O4 Mini because this is the solution verified. No? And now O4 Mini will tell me, oh, wow, there's a better solution. Hey, congratulations, you found a better solution. And now I look at what's happening because now something completely different is happening. O4 Mini tells me this is not a valid solution. You do not reach floor 50, you do not collect codes, and you end with plenty of resources, but you fail in two key segments. Now, Gemini, since we have both systems running in parallel, also does here this check, and of course Gemini comes back and tells me, well, I know this is a valid solution, and here if you want my second validation run. Just let it run through, I don't want to interrupt this. So final validation run, the solution empowered is fully validated and correct. O4 Mini disagrees heavily. You don't even reach the floor 50. You collected no code cards. And I say, okay, so let's see. How would you argue for or against these claims? Not reach floor 50 and no code cards collected. And now look at the explanation and the strategy that O4 Mini does now. This is now really a behavior that is really strange. O4 Mini defends its position, regardless if it is correct or not. Yeah, Gemini 2.5 Pro just runs here also as a parallel model. I cannot stop this, but I think we will focus now on O4 Mini because here this is really what's absolutely <laughs> fascinating, I would say, if we have a look at this. So we have not a solution by O Gemini 2.5 Pro given to O4 Mini. So let's see what U4 Mini is doing with this information. Yeah? It tells me the final state is floor 29, which is nonsense. Yeah, let's make it bigger. Gemini, yeah, does not reach its nonsense and gives me here absolutely tells me the axiom that I defined in my test that I designed here. A verification of the prerequisite, then we have the condition one. And yes, beautiful, everything is here, the token is here, condition 1 is here, condition 2 is here, a hold now the red, the red and the green card, condition 3, sufficient resources is here, 
the conclusion for the given axiom, all prerequisite is for. It's a beautiful, simple, gorgeous explanation. I absolutely trust here with this explanation and reasoning traces here, Gemini 2.5 Pro. Claim 2, the solution does not collect codes, does the same way, gives me a step-by-step -step explanation. Look, step 1, step 2, step 3, proof of red code acquisition gives me here the axiom B from my logic test. Absolutely refers to this. Absolutely great. Now let's look at a little O4 mini because now it gets interesting. No, claim one, it doesn't reach here. Floor 50. Look at 29. It says, yeah, 29. I end at 29. So I have energy. I've token. I have flags. Oh, suddenly you have the red code card. So it does not recognize that the exit button is a button. IDAT has not a capacity to go from floor 29 to 50 with one button press. It just ignores it. And then claim 2 does not collect code. Tells me blue code. No blue code. Oh, ah, suddenly the red code is here. So we have a correction. But look at green code. It claims that floor 15 was not reached. In the validation run, it tells me now it was reached, but not in a way that I'm going to accept this. Imagine, an AI tells me there's no way that I can make sure I reached floor 15 with an elevator. You know, imagine there would be an indicator. And now imagine we have med AI, finance AI, health AI, control AI, autonomous AI. Imagine what this opens up, the box of Pandora. Tell me. I stay away from O4 Mini for agents and for LLMs. But you know what about O3? O3, my workhorse. Is it also doing this behavior? Is it also strategically lying to me? Not accepting facts, not accepting here explanation, not accepting here the correct solution to the problem and starting to interpret and inventing rules that are counter to the rules that I defined here in my logic test. I have never seen this strategic behavior of an AI system to insist that it is correct. This is not an AI system I can recommend.